Yeah, that's why even though we could see a little bit of snow overnight into early tomorrow, we're not too concerned about the impacts. Of course, there could be a couple of slippery spots, especially in the higher elevations first thing tomorrow. But with temperatures climbing into the 40s and rain on the way, a lot of that's just going to get washed away fairly quickly. So we have rain in the forecast Saturday, rain in the forecast on Sunday. Before we dive into the details, when can you get outside this weekend? Later in the afternoon on Saturday and Sunday morning, the earlier the better. Those are your two windows of time that you can get out without grabbing the umbrella. Otherwise, you'll need to bring it along with you. Brief snow later tonight, rain snow mix in parts of the state before we change over to rain. Showers Sunday, most likely in the afternoon and a quick shot of cold air next week. But as quickly as the temperatures dive down on Tuesday, they go right back up again. So here's this area of rain and snow that we're tracking. That is our weather as we head through the overnight and into the day tomorrow. And no issues over the course of the next several hours or so. It won't be until after three or four o'clock that we'll really start to see that rain and snow move in and high temperatures tomorrow. Look at this climbing in the mid to upper 40s. So that's why we're talking about that milder weather that we've had around for a lot of the days this week, except this week we've had a lot of sunshine. So again, as we head towards daybreak, we'll see areas of rain and snow. If you live inland, don't be surprised if you are awake at five in the morning and it's snowing outside. But watch what happens as we head through the morning, seven o'clock, eight o'clock will change over to rain. We might see parts of northwestern, northeastern Connecticut hang on to a few snowflakes or rain snow mix through around 10 o'clock or so. Again, there could be a few slippery spots with anywhere from a coating to a slushy inch of accumulation that ends up kind of getting washed away after that as temperatures continue to rise. So we'll see that rain about a quarter to a half an inch of rain. Southeastern Connecticut might be able to get a little bit more closer to an inch, but I think that would be the exception. And then we'll see things dry out between 3 and 5 p.m. So again, that's when we're going to have that window to get outside. Starting off your Sunday, we'll start off dry, but a lot of clouds. Then heading into the afternoon, another batch of showers coming on in. I don't think we'll see quite as much measurable rain with round two. And I think for Sunday, the earlier, the better. If you wanted to get outdoors, high temperatures in the low to mid 40s. Here's that quick shot of cool air coming in here. Again, this is going to be for Tuesday with high temperatures that will only be in the 30s. But after that, it all goes away and temperatures will warm right back up again. Before we get to the seven day forecast, very happy birthday to our 10 p.m. producer Val. We appreciate you so much. Highs close to 50 degrees on Monday. Clouds breaking for sunshine. Low 30s for a high temperature on your Tuesday. It'll be cold and windy too with wind chills dropping back into the teens, maybe even the single digits, but then we're back in the mid to upper 40s Wednesday, close to 50 for Thursday of next week. Another thing I want to tell you about here moving forward forward is the average high temperature is in the low 40s. There is a storm offshore later next week that we'll have to kind of keep an eye on. Right now it looks like it's trending farther south, so it wouldn't be much of an issue for us, but if it comes back closer, maybe something we need to add back into the forecast. Sam Sam Perry with an update tomorrow morning on the Fox 61 Morning News.